I'm in the portal in Microsoft Azure, and I'm going to show you how to back up a virtual machine. I've got a Windows 10 virtual machine, but you can do this on a server as well. And on the left-hand side, I'm going to scroll down to where it says backup. I'll click backup, and we've got several options here. For the first one, we see we can create a new vault. If we already have a vault, then we can click on Select Existing, and then you would see that vault here. So the vault is where the virtual machine is going to be stored after you back it up. Now, if you have more than one resource group, you can choose that. I only have the Windows 10 resource group that I created earlier. The Network Watcher is something that's automatically created, not something that I had done. If I want, I can create a new resource group as well. But just for simplicity, I'm going to keep this all in the same resource group. Then I can choose a backup policy. So I've got the daily policy, or I can create a new policy, which would give us some custom properties, such as the frequency. We have daily or weekly. We have the time, and we can do the time zone. And then we can retain instant recovery snapshots. And what this does is it allows us to create a couple of snapshots from the most recent backups, and we can use those to restore from. So if I had, say, five backups, then I would only be able to see the most recent two if I set this to two. Now, if I change that to four, for instance, then it'll retain four. Now, keep in mind, the more recovery snapshots you have, the more storage you'll use and the more expensive it will be. I'm just going to do one just for an example and go to the next section here where it says, how long should we retain that backup? And by default, it's gonna be a half a year, but I can go in and change that if I want. I'll say just 90 days. Then I have the option for retention of weekly backup points. So if I check that, I can change that to be longer or shorter as well as a monthly backup. So this is in place of what's called a backup rotation, which we would do on premises. On premises, we would have weekly backups, monthly backups, yearly backups, sometimes quarterly as well. And that way we could go back in time to specific backup types if we needed to. I don't need that for demonstration purposes, but if you want to go ahead and do that again, if you do, it will add additional cost because you'll be using more storage. Now we have Azure Backup Resource Group. We can type in the name and a suffix if we want as well. Now I'm not going to use a custom policy. I'm just going to go ahead and use the daily one. And under the backup frequency, it's going to happen every night at 830. And you may want to change the time zone there. And we can see the retention is going to be 180 days. So if I click Enable Backup, then our backup will run. Right now it's initializing the deployment and we can see that it's getting it all set up to run its first backup. And we can see the backup job was created successfully. And if I want to, I can go ahead and click on backup now and the backup will begin. And we see that we've triggered the backup. Backup is in progress. And if we change our mind, we can click on stop backup as well. And then if we want to, once that's done, we can click on delete backup data if we no longer need it. So that is how you set up a virtual machine backup in Microsoft Azure.